Welcome back to the vlog. It's Chrissy. I'm actually sitting outside out of a, I was gonna call it Us Foods, but it's US Foods. I've been seeing this place on TikTok and they say it's open to the public. I'm nervous because this looks like a warehouse or it looks like an office building. Like I don't know if I'm allowed to shop in here, but I'm gonna walk up to the front and ask. I'm so nervous though. Because what if it's not? I'm going to be embarrassed. Like, I did wake up early and come all the way out here just because I wanted to beat, like, traffic. What if you can't come in? Hold on. Look at it. I mean, this looks like a corporate office. Not somewhere where you can shop. I'm going to grab my purse, and I'm going to go up there, and I'm just going to ask. I was in the back where the loading station was completely wrong area um i don't even see people coming out with like carts and stuff should i call i'm gonna call the number i'm gonna call an ass i should have called before i even came out here like what's my problem um thank you for calling u.s foods we help you make it for national sales customer service press one to reach your personal sales coordinator press two for all other departments press three Hi, I was wondering if this location is open to the public. Um, we are not open to the public, unfortunately. Okay. It's just other locations are, just not this one. Um, well, you know, if there's an area, I mean, we have a couple chef stores uh -huh. uh, across the country, but we don't have any in this area. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Sorry about that. No, you're okay. Bye-bye. Oh. oh, I was so excited. Like, putting my camera up. I don't know why I didn't call beforehand. That was silly. But, uh, what am I do? Like, I'm so sad. Why does everybody else have such cool stuff and we don't? Like, we have a U.S. Foods, but it's not the one that you can shop at. Now, I did pass a micro center on the way here, and I'm debating should I stop in there and see if I can find a screw for my camera. I really don't feel like it. I had to drop something off at Brandy's house, so I might actually hop, stop over there, and then go to Crate and Barrel and see if I can at least find these Halloween cups since I'm having, I'm not gonna be able to get my syrups from here. That's all I wanted to do, because I've been seeing on TikTok everybody going to US Foods and getting, um, coffee syrups and stuff that's all I wanted but it's okay I'm still gonna go do the rest of my stuff so I'm gonna head over to my aunt's it's gonna take like 23 minutes to get there and I'm gonna drop off her stuff and then I'm gonna head over to Crate and Barrel and we're gonna look around there because I've never been to Crate and Barrel but there's these two cups that I want so mm -hmm. Stop by my aunt's really quick. She was still asleep. So I dropped off my stuff. And now I am about to go into Crate and Barrel. And I've been spelling Crate and Barrel wrong every time I search it. Now that I'm realizing. I've been spelling it Create and Barrel. So I feel kind of stupid about that. But there's also a container store. I've never been in a container store. I don't know if I will go in there. But I don't know. We're going into Crate and Barrel to look for these cups. Why is today such a bust? So the website says that the cups are available and I wanted to look at them before I bought them. But then when you go in the store, they're like, oh no, we don't have this cups. So I'm tempted just to place the order online and do site to store. And it, it says it should be available later on that day. I'm tempted. <sighs> so no cups. I don't even know if I want to go into TJ Maxx. <laughs> because I don't really need anything. I just wanted to come out of the house and spend money, but nobody has anything that I want to spend my money on. Do I just go home? I feel like, do I get a burger and just go home at this point? 
kind of want to go into this Whole Foods and get a dessert and then go home. I'm back home because Whole Foods was a bust too. I have my hair up in a bun because it's it got wet a little bit. And I also, you can't really tell, but I banged my forehead on my desk because when I came home, I guess the power went out. So all the lights were on. And so I had to like turn the lights off underneath my desk and I banged it right on my desk. So yeah, that happened. And now I am making met breakfast. I still want to make a coffee, but I want to make a bagel sandwich first. I have my bagel toasting. I'm actually going to eat it on the paper Papa John's plate. What is with today? Like I couldn't get my cups. I couldn't get my syrups. Like store shopping is dead. The only store shopping I still like is TJ Maxx, I guess. And I didn't go in there. But yeah, we're going to make ourselves some eggs, little egg sauce, little egg bacon, bagel sandwich. I'm going to put grape jelly and cream cheese on this. Thinking about dinner already. Haven't even had breakfast. I'm trying to plan dinner. I think I wanted to get a burger, but I also wanted to get pizza. But I think I'm going to keep on being responsible and eating at home like I'm supposed to during the week. And maybe on Thursday or Friday. Maybe Thursday. One of those days I'll eat out. But until then, I need to be eating the food, the groceries that I have. So I'm also going to make some brownies at home since I have some. I right, got a nice cream cheese smear. I was debating did I want to do peach jelly or grape? But let's do grape because it's classic. Love grape jelly. Should have got jam, but it's okay. Oops, I got cream cheese all inside of the jelly. What's up, Ram Yammy? All right, now I'm going to do like a little egg scramble. I don't have any sliced cheese that's the deep thawed or unthawed. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this Velveeta cheese in there just so I have some cheese on my breakfast sandwich. I think my heat's too high, it's not gonna be able to melt. I also want my sandwich to be like my egg to be kind of sandwich shaped and all one piece. It's not looking good for me. I need it to be like, like that. Bacon here. Transport my egg. Alright, boop. There we go. Nice. Nice little breakfast Sammy on a Papa John's plate. gotta get a straw cuz I hey what are you doing get out I can't leave anything out because Ramsey will try to steal it and I don't want him to hop up on the oven and it's hot and he burns his stupid little self so just take away the temptation yeah
and we'll just have to keep an eye on his cat self. <sighs> it is 12.03. I'm gonna eat my sandwich and chill for a little bit. And then I'm gonna make a coffee. It's dinner time. I have my hair in a little bun. Uh, just from this way, it looks like I have no hair. But I'm making a cheeseburger because I don't feel like leaving the house to get food. It's 7 o'clock. Me and the cats just been chilling. They've been asleep all day. I have not been asleep. Um, I have... A single burger patty left and I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer or the indoor grill and then I'm gonna toast my bun and we're gonna make it all good um, I'm gonna do raw onions even though I have meatloaf in there I could eat I have been eating meatloaf for like a week <laughs> I'm tired of meatloaf but yeah we're gonna do burgers and fries so I'm gonna go ahead and Hook this all up. Well, I guess I have to preheat my air fryer. I think I'm gonna toast my bun now. It's a little soon. I guess I can wait till like the last five minutes and start doing the prep for my sides and stuff. I just bought some lunch meat. I don't know where it is because I want to have like turkey sandwiches. Oh, here it is. All the way in the back. There we go. I just feel like it's been so long so long since I've had just like a turkey cheese and mayo sandwich. It sounds so good. So, and I need to start eating all the stuff I have in my freezer because it's almost time to go grocery shopping again and I still have food from last time so may not be going grocery shopping again. I got this two pack. Came with a cute free container. Um, I'll be back when the food is done because I'm not going to go sit back down. I'm not doing anything right now. So be right back. Food is done. Um, all I had are these little cherry tomatoes. They're sitting up really high. And I forgot to add pickles. So I have my pickles on the side. And then for my fries, I like to do ketchup and vinegar because I like the funky vinegar taste. And I'm just watching vlogs on YouTube. I'm watching Arnell. What's her last name? Armand. Arnell Armand. Uh, my cheese was all still partially frozen, so I had to like scrape it. Like it was a mess, but. I'm gonna stick to it. We're eating at home for the rest of the week. I feel like next time I dye my hair, or next time I wash my hair, I should go ahead and dye it. When well, my hair's in a bun, you can't even see the blonde anymore. I kind of miss just having hair all one color. I want to buy some new coffee syrups, but I'm looking at like three of them. And on Amazon total, it's like $40. I'm like, hmm, I'm trying to get some points. We have this like go 365 thing that we do at my job. So I'm trying to see if I can get like $30 in points so that I can redeem them and buy the syrups that way so I don't feel so guilty about it because I have so many syrups. But I drink a coffee like every single day. So there's that. I'm gonna eat keep watching my YouTube video and maybe I'll be back maybe I'll call it a night we'll see right, yeah. I'm in the Taco Bell drive-thru and I haven't been to Taco Bell in so long but they have some new stuff sorry trying to navigate with one hand they have some new stuff that I want to try they're the dipping tacos I wonder do they have a new slushy I probably don't want a slushy but we'll see. Trying to find somewhere to balance my camera. I think this is okay. Right now you guys are in a cup holder leaned up against 
a Stanley Cup because I don't have anywhere to put you on the dash because I don't know if I want to commit to having the car on the or having the camera on the dash but I am next in line um, I see dipping tacos maybe I'll get a pop I haven't had a pop in so long but they only have like Mountain Dew maybe I'll get a Mountain Dew hold on Hi, how are you? Hello. I'm glad I can help you. Um, can I get what's in the the dipping taco deluxe box? What's in that? It comes with the, uh, the burrito, crunchy taco, and a medium a large drink. Thank you. And how much is that? Um, I can't read. It's like so far away. I'm sorry, seven, I'm blind. It's seven eighteen. Because uh, of the. Dipping taco. I won't do that. I'll just do. Can I just do maybe two, two dipping tacos and a. What flavor are those drinks? Is that water? Can I do the watermelon berry lemonade? The freeze? Do you have that? Regular large. Let's do a regular. Are the tacos like a good size or are they like the size of the normal tacos? Normal tacos. Okay. Let's just do one. And then that's all. There you go, five minutes and done. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm the worst. I got confused and I don't know if I want to eat. Now I have to get my purse out, hold on. Okay, I was trying to find a good place to put the camera. Okay, it is annoying trying to vlog in the car when things are not set up to vlog in the car. I kinda wanna roll down my window. Let's do that, cause it's hot. I decided to, oh, it's hot. I decided to, against getting two because I just want to try it and I'll show you guys what it is. Oh my God. I'm like getting so annoyed with this camera. I can just, like, I just want it to sit somewhere. Like, is this okay? Hopefully it doesn't fall again. So it's a, oh, it has a different meat in it. So it's a normal crunchy taco, but look at all that cheese on the outside. And then it has the shredded beef. Oh my gosh. The lighting. It looks good. And it's supposed to have the quesadilla sauce on the top. And then they give you a cheese sauce and some sort of red sauce to dip it in. This smells like their normal red sauce. So it's nothing new. It's just a new meat because it's shredded beef. All right, I'm literally going through the worst experience ever with my camera, but okay. I have my little tabletop thing so I can place everything on top of there I feel like it's still so dark I don't know what's going on I feel like I'm sitting in direct sunlight and still can't see me but this is that berry lemonade freeze That watermelon berry is not good. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't like that. All right, let's get back to this taco. Now that you can see it, like, I don't even feel like you need the dipping sauce because the taco already has that 
the, the quesadilla sauce on it, it's already good. This is all right, the red sauce. It came with the nacho, but I want you to eat that with chips at home. The meat is good. All right, the sun is getting even crazier and I can't even see myself barely in this camera. I'm gonna only have a couple more bites. Like it's, I only have a couple more bites of the taco. I'm gonna finish it and then I'm debating or if I wanna run into Walmart or not. Thinking about it. Only because I want that birthday cake cold brew from Tim Hortons. And I need some paper towels. I'm gonna go in there. I don't have anything to do for real. And I'm tired of looking at myself in this camera with the horrible lighting. So I'll see you guys back at the house. Back home. Happy to be back home. It is 7.03. I got off work at Ramsey in front of the camera. Nya, 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 nya. But I wanted to show you guys what I got from the store. I always want to show you guys what I got for my babies. Because you know, every time I go to the store, I got to get something for my babies. Tia loves these little crinkly balls. And Ramsey loves little animals with tails they can chew up. So got them both cute little toys from Target. And this one was only like three dollars and these were only like two dollars it's perfect crinkle balls for pia little rat dude for ramsey pia loves her new toys Ramsey is slightly interested in his new toy. Oh, he likes it. There we go. Okay, I'll show you what I got for myself. I was heading out of the store and I saw this cute little Hello Kitty shirt. Look how cute that is. In the men's section. Why is this in the men's section and not in the women's section. Like, why don't they want us to have nice things? This is adorable. Why? This is for me, not for them. I have some lashes because I want to wear fake lashes, but I don't want to get permanent ones. Like, maybe I do, but I don't know. So I was just going to try it out because I feel like 2020, I, I was like playing with lashes and makeup and I like them. Got these little gloves. Where's, okay, there you go. Got little gloves so I can exfoliate. I got a half baked ice cream because Sydney said she likes this one and I've never had this one, so I bought it. got some bleach cleaner and I got some black hair dye because I think like not not I don't know probably maybe by October maybe I'll be done with the blonde and I want to go back all black so I bought a hair dye just in case because you never know when the mood will hit you one of those collapsible little storage box things so I could put some of the cat's extra things in that. And I got the very last birthday cake Tim Hortons cold brew. It was the very last one. Ooh, Pia, do not. She's like smelling the bleach stuff. But hey, 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 bro, this is not a scratch pad. Stop, stop, everybody, stop. Okay, yeah, the last one, birthday cake. So tomorrow, 
Well, I think tomorrow I have a little bit more of the mocha cereal one, which I don't, I'm gonna have to taste it again separately. I don't know if I'm getting any cereal taste to it, but hopefully this one is good. Okay, I'm about to chill. I am very happy that I am no longer editing or not uploading on Fridays anymore because that means I would have to come home and edit today so I can have a video up for tomorrow. So it feels good, like that extra bit of relief, like ugh, I don't have to edit until like Friday. I have three days, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday to edit and get the video up on Monday. It feels good. But um, I felt like I was gonna say something. I can't remember what though. Um, my iPad, I didn't realize my iPad was so old, but it was it's a 2020, which makes sense. I believe it's a 2020 I don't know it's a second gen iPad Pro and I'm pretty sure I got it in 2020 but I don't know it's hard to believe how old it is now but I'm only getting a new one because the mine is so old that you can't even use Final Cut Pro on it because now they have Final Cut Pro for iPads and my iPad is too old to use it so I was gonna get another iPad but I'm gonna lay on the couch for the rest of the night. I'm gonna try not to pull, watch TikToks for the next three to four hours like I did yesterday. Um, I'm going to actually play my game. I think I wanna get back into playing um, Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town since that was my comfort game as a wee Chrissy, but we'll see. Ooh, P is playing with her little toys. She loves those, those are her favorite, the little crinkle balls. Pia's not a toy girl, but she loves those toys. And they're the cheapest toys that I could get her, so it's perfect. I'm gonna make sure for her birthday, cause it's coming up on the 12th, I might get her a whole bucket of them, like just a crazy amount of crinkle balls so she can just lose her mind, but we'll see. I'm about to go chill and ooh, there again, I need to be buying a camera is what I need to be doing, but be right back. So I wanted to hop on here cause I wanted to open up my Timu package and I didn't want to wait until I looked presentable. So I'm just throwing this in here. Um, it's a work from home day. And when I work from home, I do the bare minimum. So this is like hair in a ponytail on the couch, but let me get a box cutter so I can open this up. I'm excited for this order because this is my third Timu order and most of it is in this package, but there are three more things that are still on the way. And it's just like nail stuff, cat toy. But this is the big package with everything in it. I barely remember everything that I got. I've been wanting one of these and I want to make it into a ball pit but right now ow what just bent my nail that hurt it is a cat bed that looks like a bowl of ramen so you just put the little pillow in there and it looks like ramen and egg and then you put the little lid how does the lid go on oh there's a piece of velcro there and it has a little lid on it isn't that so cute i'm gonna put this on the floor but i saw some people were putting like ball pit balls in here and the cat can jump in and like have fun but we're gonna throw that on the floor See if the cats are at all interested. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it. One. Hold on. We got one. What are you gonna do? Uh oh. We got another one. He's interested. Ooh, they're both going in. <laughs> Oh, Ramsey's 
gonna dig around in there. You like it, buddy? Ramsey's into it. I love that. There we go. Pia's finally playing with this toy. I bought them forever ago. She's finally showing some interest in it. It's been months. He's still in there. Oh, he poked his little head out. Oh, he loves it. There we go. Do you like it, bud? Oh. You okay in there? You okay? All right. Okay, that was a success. I think everything else in here is for me. I'm gonna set this up later, but I saw this online and I wanted it. It's like the little dock and there's lights. So you can put your switch in there and it's like a nice dust cover for your switch that lights up. So I got this. That little plastic container storage for all my nail rhinestones and decor so they're all in one nice little container um, I was not expecting this bottle to be this big but it's a little alcohol you put the alcohol in there and you can press it with the little wipes I didn't think it was gonna be this big though oh we do have one cat toy and it's on a little spring. Oh my God, it's a cute little pink alligator. I didn't know I was only ordering one. I thought I was getting a pack because the picture shows a pack, but it's just one. You put it on their little scratch pad and so they can knock it around and play with it. But I thought I was getting a pack, but I think it was only like a dollar and some change. This is a little heat resistant mat so when I'm flat ironing my hair I can put the flat iron down on the mat instead of on top of my desk nice little protection oh it even says you can roll your flat iron up in it focus yeah you can roll your flat iron up in it and take it for storage or when you're traveling I'm gonna use this bag for trash It's a little LED little light so I could do my nails. Just a little like, oh, um, oh, there's a little button. But yeah, I could just like cure my nails with the little light and it's rechargeable. I have one already, but it takes batteries and I hate things that take batteries. If it's not rechargeable, I don't want anything to do with it. I finally, Got the little wristbands. Oh, these have weird glue or something on them. But little wristbands so when you're washing your face, the water isn't running down your sleeve. With a little headband to go with it, which is very small. My hairline, I like... No, I like to keep it like down here, completely covering my hair. This is fine. This is fine. The rest is nail stuff. A bunch of nail stickers because I cannot resist all these nail stickers. We have more little silver sparkle shapes, cute little hearts and bows. Cats, I just, cats doing cute cat stuff. Uh, we have little flowers, thought that was cute. 
ducks with little flowers. Uh, more little clouds. And this time, more flowers and little bows and things. I love nail stickers and they're only like a dollar and some change on there. So worth it versus when I buy them on Amazon. They're like so much more expensive and just knowing I can get them cheaper on Timu is just like, okay, well, let's get more. I have two hair clips. They're the same, so I'm just gonna show you. Hold on. I will put them on. I can get them out of the package. I'm like keeping an eye on the time because I still have a little bit more work to do and it's about to be three o'clock. I get off at four, so I have time because I'm a little ahead of schedule. Okay, the hair looks insane, but they're just gonna show you what the little hair clips look like. Ooh. And they're just cute little hearts. It wasn't a set, they're just single clips because this one, the clip is on this side. Like I would have to put this one in and go in in the other direction so that the hearts are sitting correctly. It's cute though. It makes me look like I did something with myself today. So I like them even more. Um, a couple more nail things. We got some nail sequence hearts because Valentine's Day and hearts are always a need. And we have some random shape glitter and sequences. We have more little random size rhinestones. I'm looking at these and I don't think they're flat back, so I don't know. Some of them are really tiny, so I guess they won't matter, but they're not really flat. Usually when you put something on your nails, you want it to be flat, but that's okay. And we have some hearts. We have some rhinestone hearts. These are like the darker colored ones. And then I have some lighter colored ones. They just sparkle so nicely more rhinestones. I feel like Timu is just the best place for nail stuff. That's mostly what I'm buying on there. Um, oh, this is rhinestones and cav caviar beads. But they're silver. Because I feel like the silver is always just sparkle a lot better. But it's rhinestones and tiny little caviar beads. Now I have these and I got them on Amazon, but the ones I bought on Amazon are in a darker colorway versus these are pastel and they're just cute little flowers and they're already flat and you just do like a cute little flower design. Like, I don't know, I think I might do something cute and simple with my nails this time, just a flat color with like a sticker or maybe these, just something else. Cause the texture of these, like sometimes if I'm stressed out, and I like sit here and I can do this with my nails and it gives me anxiety, like just the bumpy, like I like a smooth nail, but these are really bumpy and you can hear how bumpy and textured they are because of the rhinestones. It stresses me out even more because like, I don't know, maybe that's just a habit of mine. I'll sit and I'll just rub my nails and then the bumpy texture just makes me feel worse. So no, and I feel like if it was just like one rhinestone, I wouldn't feel so bad about it, but because there's like six rhinestones per nail, like it's just too much. And they're spread out throughout the whole nail, not just like at the top or at the bottom. I won't do that to myself anymore. And I got this little, oh, it's kind of cloudy. I would not have got white if I knew it was gonna be cloudy, but it's just a little tiny little ridge thing where you can lay your nail polish brushes on them so that they're not like laying on the table, getting the table all dirty. Um, all my rhinestones and sequins and things, I was gonna put them all in here.
This looks very cute. Um, the only thing I don't like is how some of the boxes are going this way and then some are going this way. Like, I don't like that, but maybe I can turn them all so they're all going one way. But all my rhinestones and things like this that are in little pouches like this are going to go in here because this will look nice and organized. Ah, I love all my Tina stuff. I do have one more package coming and it just has like two pots of nail uh, metallic. So it's just like um, a gold liquid and then a silver liquid and some cat chew toys. And then that's everything. I'm excited. I'm gonna set this up later on this week. Everything else, I'm gonna get back to work because it's now 2.48. I'm gonna make me a coffee and finish out the rest of my work. Gotta record from this direction. I just got home from work and we got a package. This is a shopping vlog, okay? All we're doing is unboxing things we bought. But this one I've been eyeing for a while and I'm finally getting it because I want a new coffee cup. Oh, that is cute. So you guys know that I bought the, the recycled glass Starbucks cup and Ramsey broke it because he's a rat and I could not Basically, Starbucks didn't have it anymore. I haven't been able to find a replacement since. But World Market had a cup and it was like $10, but because I don't have a World Market near me, I had to pay for shipping, so I ended up paying like $20. But look how cute that is. I think it's, I don't know if it's cuter than the one from Starbucks, but it's definitely cute. Just a little glass, recycled, is a recycled glass cup. It has the, the hearts all over it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's adorable. I love being able to see my, my drink. Like, I, I want to see my coffee. The straw kind of sucks. It's just a normal clear straw. I'm going to see if any of my cute Starbucks straws will fit in there. I don't know. It's kind of a boring straw, but it's a cute cup. I'm excited about this. I'm gonna go take a picture of it. So I'm up, getting ready for work. It's 7.38, so far I'm on time. I like to leave home around 7.45, but it doesn't always happen. I'm getting my coffee and my food together. I have on some plumping lip gloss right now. It's kind of burning. Um, let's do the little things first. I took some of these to work yesterday and these might be the best true fruits. Like I didn't like the strawberry ones because once they started to um, defrost, um, the strawberries were like a weird texture. And then I have some banana ones. Like I have the true fruit bananas, but bananas are also weird when they unfreeze so i don't know how these are gonna go but i'm gonna try them because they're chocolate and peanut butter but the cherries are great because the cherries stay like like all the juices are inside of the cherry like these are good i'm gonna rebuy the frozen and white and dark chocolate cherries I'm gonna get these together. I just put like six of them in a container. Well, serving size is eight. No, it's three to four. Oh. It's saying there's eight servings. All right, I got my six. It's just a little snack to have while I'm at work. So I'm not eating a bunch of candy, even though that does have chocolate, but you know. And then I have some of these petite medley, um, what are these? Cherry tomatoes. And I just take a few of these too. 
I'll do about five of these because I also eat them with my dinner and I don't wanna waste them. <sighs> gonna make myself a little lunch meat sandwich, turkey, cheese, mayo, and mustard. And then I'm gonna move on to coffee when I'm done with that. I like buying the little half a loaves of bread. It's just like just enough bread. We're not gonna have toast some days, sandwiches, without wasting. I like to make sure my mayo is from, well this is Miracle Whip, not mayonnaise, but I like to make sure it's like edge to edge, like I don't want any dry bits. cheese is all weird because I froze it and then I de like I put it in the fridge after that and so now when I'm trying to take pieces off it just completely just breaks off it's the worst experience so I might have to get more cheese because like this is annoying I have to put it on here like puzzle pieces because it keeps breaking off but I was going to the store later on today and I didn't want to have to buy cheese. I was going to get this apple cider uh, syrup and I wanted to start making like the fall Starbucks drinks with it, like the apple crisp macchiato and stuff like that. And all the apple syrups on like Amazon from like Monin or something were all like so expensive versus my Kroger's has a syrup for like six bucks or something. It's not done yet. We're gonna put a little bit more mayo. I like to make sure my sandwich is not dry because it's. I'm probably not gonna eat it for another four hours. So I like to have all of, oh, 7.45. Gotta be getting out of here soon. So do a nice layer of mayo. And then I'm gonna add some spicy brown mustard. Nice little layer. There you go. Now it's time for coffee. Let me put all this stuff away. Next time I'm gonna buy the cheese that has the little papers. Oh, did the camera move? Probably not. That has the little, okay, Ramsey. Uh, the little slices of paper in between each piece of cheese. That way that doesn't happen. Um, I need a container for my sandwich. I used this one yesterday, even though it's too big. I need a perfectly square sandwich container for my sandwiches. Sandwich cut this way. There we go, and I have chips on my desk at work. I also have a little peanut butter snack at work just in case I want something else sweet. Okay, here we go. New cup, and the lid is so hard to get off of here. I mean, I guess that's kind of good, so the coffee is just gonna be spilling out, but it's like a struggle. This is disgusting. This is the birthday cake one. It has like a weird sour taste to it. I don't buy this one. The mocha cereal, mocha cereal one, that one is good. This one is not. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss it and just make a coffee in the Nespresso. All right, let me go throw, um, make, make, make a coffee and put it in the, the hyper chiller. I was kind of on the fence about what I wanted to drink today, but I think I'm gonna go for like a caramel macchiato kind of situation with some marshmallow syrup. I think that would be good. I'm gonna do just a bit of caramel there, but the rest, I've never done, I usually never do a caramel drizzle in my cup because like it takes forever to mix in, but. Look how cute. <laughs> I bought a bunch of coffee stuff because I had those points. Um, 
at my job and I wanted to use them up. So I'm excited. I bought new chocolates. I, I think I got two or three new syrups. I got some new cups. I bought um, more Nespresso pods, but the coffee's not coming for a while. And we're just gonna pour it. I'm not even gonna use the hyper chiller because it's 7.52 and I need to get out of here. I'm like wasting so much time. That's okay. I'll be out of here within the next couple minutes. I put my coffee right here. Or milk in the coffee cup. Do a little couple pumps. Let's do two. Let's do three. So yesterday I made a coffee and it was disgusting. Um, I was not paying attention. I thought this was a half a teaspoon or a half a tablespoon because that's what I had out before. It turns out this was a whole. So when I put my syrup in, I end up putting like how many? Three full tablespoons instead of one and a half like I name like I normally do. So it was entirely too sweet. I used that that nasty coffee and I end up putting like syrup sauce in it too. Like I didn't even finish it. It was disgusting. Let me get some ice. Ooh, let's do this big chunk of ice here. I think that looks nice. Um, let's taste it to make sure. A little bit more marshmallow, just a little bit. That's good. It just tastes like a nice caramel macchiato with a hint of marshmallow. I love ice in a glass cup. Should I have more ice? Okay, this is the terrible part. It's like I have to put my nail underneath and uh, it's not easy to open. Let's get just a little bit more ice. I like my drink to stay cold while I'm drinking it the whole time. Let me put my shoes on and get out of here because it's 7.54. I gotta go. Home, I just got back home. I think in the last clip I was at home anyway, but I just got home from work and I am opening up another Timu order because they always split my Timu orders up. Like I never get, I don't think I've ever gotten just one order all at the same time so I wanted to show you guys what I got I'm hoping the other stuff shows up because Pia's birthday is Saturday and I'm trying to get all her gifts together oh crap I meant to go to Target and get her a gift bag to put her stuff in all right but I'll show you guys what I bought this is really becoming just a shopping vlog. But I'm excited because I feel like I, I needed these things and then I won't buy anything else. I think I'm actually going to delete the Timu app so that I'm not on there anymore. But look how cute this container is. So it's like a little trunk and you can put your, like your nail drill, drill bits in there. So they all sit nicely and they're all in one container. I just thought that was so cute. So... Hi. Hi, baby girl. How are you? But yeah, that was cute. Um, more nail rhinestones. I got another one of those storage containers. I don't know if I showed you guys already, but I had organized all my nail decorations. Um, I'll show you in a second, actually. Just remember this. I'll show you because I have to go get it. There was like nothing in this package. There's one more thing. My other order has a bunch of small things in it and this one just had these couple things. Um, I hope this isn't what I think it is because if it is, it's smaller than I thought it would be. This better be uh, something else. Oh, 
more things were at the bottom. <gasps> Let me show you guys what I thought I was ordering. How fortunate, the item was discontinued, but I don't know, it's really small. It's a small picture, but this, it looks like it's gonna be a normal size cat, little scratchy. Look at that. It's uh, not as big as I thought. and no instructions on how to put it together. So I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm pretty sure the cats will like it. I mean, it'll be fine. Hi, dude. And then here are more parts. I guess I'll be able just to look at the picture and figure it out. Anywho, we have three more packs of nail stickers. This one with little bunnies. Got some cute little colors, bows and stuff. This one, more bunny is a little bit more cheerful looking. And this one is like little pink tulips and like cameos kind of thing. I'm addicted to buying nail stickers. I just think they're so great and they're so cheap on Timu that I just keep buying more. Um, I'm gonna stop though, but just for now. I can't believe they wouldn't give me like instructions on how to put this together. <sighs> Hold on, let me try to put this thing together and then I'll show you what I was talking about for this thing. I'm like very peeved, like oh, how much was it? It was $16. 1657. That's why I thought it would be bigger because it's so it's a little bit more expensive. Like I'm going to request my money back. I don't know if for said this thing was worth $17. If it was like 10, maybe 8 for sure, but this doesn't even feel like good quality cardboard like the normal scratching posts that I buy for the cats. And they smell funny. I'm gonna try to put my, I'm gonna try to put it together by looking at this very small picture to see if I can figure it out. But I think I'm gonna request to see if I can get my money back for that. Like, this thing sucks. All right, let me figure this out really quick and I'll be back. So I'm, they gave me a full refund, which is cool because, um, I paid through it through Afterpay, and I think it's gonna cover my last payment anyway. And I'm gonna keep these little pieces because the cats do like to scratch on these. Everything else, like I can't even get the screw. Like I feel like I could figure out how to put it together without the instructions, but the screws, I'm like cutting my hand up trying to fit the little screws through here. Like it's not worth it. It is not worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this get my refund and call it a day. Eat, throw all this stuff away so my cats don't eat the rubber bands and things like that. But off those on the floor. Let me go get the the little container so I can show you what I how I organized all my nail stuff really quick. Let me show you. I don't remember if I showed you this already, so if you've already seen it, just just know I forgot. But you see last time, Ramsey. So last time I bought this container and it comes with all these little minis containers in there. I'm like, it's kind of a lot to deal with. But I have a lot of these containers, like this size, that little nail stuff you order on Amazon, they fit perfectly in there. And then I can fit like two of the little tiny ones off on the side and it's perfect. And I'm able to fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the little longer containers right in there. And 
I just had like eight more plus two of the two little, little tiny containers. Like it's amazing how much nail stuff I actually own. So I had eight more containers that I wanted to slide in here with the two on the side. And now I have two very cute containers of nail decor. Isn't this, I love when things are organized and I'm able just to grab one thing and have like so much. So there's that. And then I have my nail sticker book. I maybe eventually will find a cuter book to store these in because this is very basic. Like it's not very, it's not very cute at all. I feel like I can get on Etsy, not Etsy, um, on Amazon or Timu. It would be a cheaper option for Timu, but I don't like buying one thing on Timu. I like buying like a few things to make the order worth it. So I might just go to Amazon and order just a cute little mini photo album to keep my nail stickers in. Something that's actually cute. Uh, no itches. Just putting my nail stickers back in here. Can't wait to do my nails again. I think I'm gonna start a, another vlog this weekend and I'm gonna do my nails. I wanna do my hair because I wanna dye it back black. So it might be like a little makeover like vlog and Pika's birthday. <sighs> Even though I didn't record Ramsey's birthday for the vlog, I did record like a little mini video for TikTok. So I don't know. I might do like a mini video for TikTok for their TikTok. I don't know. I'm gonna go organize, oh, I'm gonna go organize the rest of my nail stuff. So my more rhinestones and my drill bits. I'm actually gonna wait to do the drill bits because I have more drill bits coming from Timu. That other part of the order, it doesn't have an estimated delivery date yet. So whenever it comes in, I'll organize my little nail bit things. But I'm very excited to have them in this cute little container. I don't know, I'm just very excited to have things organized. I also had an Amazon order come in, but it's coffee stuff and I wanted to wait for the rest of my coffee stuff to come in before I even open it up. But I'll show you guys, it's fine. I'm trying to find reasons to record things on TikTok and I wanted to do like coffee unboxing for TikTok, but I'll show you guys what I got because you guys are special. I showed you this yesterday where I got this syrup from Kroger's so I can start making like the apple macchiato drinks, like um, Starbucks seasonal drinks. And then I got some more of the 1883 syrups. Oh, this one's in a plastic bottle, ew. But this one is the roasted hazelnut. I heard this, the roasted hazelnut is better than the normal hazelnut. So I got the roasted hazelnut and this one, I was watching a girl on YouTube and she said that the brownie 1883 syrup is her favorite and sometimes it's hard to find and she's like if it's in stock get it so I got it the brownie one and she says it's like chocolatey it's nutty even like the picture I don't know if you guys can see but there are little nuts in the brownies so excited to try that and then these are caramel and this is a caramel sauce. I heard this one's a good one, the Hollander. I've been hearing good things on TikTok about it. So I got white chocolate and I got caramel because those are the two I use more often. So I'm excited to try those out and see if they're as good as everybody's saying. Everything else that I order for my coffee stuff isn't here yet, but this is what showed up today. Close it all back up and I'm actually gonna chill on the couch for a little bit. I wanna show you guys what I figured out because I'm pretty excited about it. And then I'm gonna chill back on the couch. <sighs> Ooh. Hi, handsome. You got some, uh new little things there you go 
There you go. Nice. Very nice, huh? Today was such a stressful day at work. I like, even right now, I feel like I'm still trying to recover from the stressful day at work. I took one of these like Ollie stress gummies. I took one, I might take another one and I just need to like do nothing for a while, but let me show you. So I wanted to color on my iPad and so I was looking for like coloring apps, couldn't find a good coloring app. They were all like coloring by numbers. And I'm like, I don't want to color by numbers. I just want to color. So this is what I did. I have Procreate on my phone. I have Procreate on my iPad and I went to Etsy and I just downloaded, like I bought some coloring pages from some of the people on Etsy. I got five of them spent ten dollars for five coloring books and each one has like each one of these have like 70 I think these have like 50 or 70 in them too like so many coloring pages and some of them for like like these up here for instance were like a dollar like a dollar and some change for 70 cute hand-drawn pictures that you can color so they send you like a pdf file and normally you're supposed to print them off so that you can color them and you can print them off as many times as you want but i don't want to print stuff off because i don't want to get up and have to go grab all my coloring stuff and then all that it's too much so this is what i did i downloaded the files uploaded the files into procreate and they were nice enough to give me the cover art for each one so it looks like a little book so you click on one whatever whatever one you want and at the bottom it has all the pages you guys see how cute these pages are a dollar 18 for just such cute little art photos like these are so cute but yeah I could just flip through them and color on my pages. This is what I was working on yesterday. I need to work on not overlaying. Like you see how I was coloring here and the co and I was kind of overlapping where I already colored and it's causing that weird texture there. But I colored this in Procreate and it looks like it was colored by hand. Do you see that? Look how cute I colored the cat. I feel like I'm an artist, but I don't know, it's just so much fun. I was like sitting here just coloring yesterday. Cause you pull up your picture and then you can choose like your color. You can choose like what kind of style you want your pencil. You could do watercolors, you could do markers. You could do like airbrushing, spray paint. Like there's just so many options that you can do for coloring and just any color that you can think of you can sit here and like I don't know I feel like why it just seems like this sh I don't know it just feels like it should be more of a thing but I've never heard of anybody else doing it but I also haven't researched it I was just like searching coloring apps for iPad on the App Store but yeah if you have an iPad, you have Procreate, you got a little Apple Pencil or a stylus, you can spend a dollar on Etsy, get a nice cute coloring book, and just color. Like, I don't know. I am very excited about this. Like, this crossed my mind last night because I was like Googling cute pictures to color. And I'm like, I just can't be on Google searching for pictures. Like, that's gonna take forever, but I don't know. I want to show you guys the other cute one I got too. And I'll tell you guys the names of the sellers on Etsy that I got them from because they were very nice. Um, this one, so cute. And just the cutest little art. Like, I, like, can you swipe through? Like, so cute. So cute. I got that one and then I got this one's like a dessert one like it's just a bunch of little parfaits and sundaes which is 
just adorable. Like that's gonna be so fun to color. And you can like zoom in really good and like pay attention to what you're coloring in a specific section so you can do like a lot of detail. I don't know, I don't wanna spend too much time talking about this, but I am very excited. But you see, if you don't put it back, like you have to scroll back to your cover photo so that it stays all nice and organized. Yeah, so cute. Um, oh, I was forgot, I was supposed to show you guys the names of the, the sellers, just in case anybody else was interested in buying coloring pages from um, these two Etsy people. One of them is Print Trap on Etsy. They're the ones that were making like the cute ones with the girls and they were only like a dollar 18 for 70 photos and they were so helpful. They were so nice yesterday and they're so nice. So print trap on Etsy and the other one that did the cute little food. They are artful whims on Etsy and they had a bunch of other books and pages to choose from I just chose those five because I didn't want to buy too many of them but a lot of options go through them buy something I don't know maybe look but okay I'm gonna probably color lay on the couch and just try to chill and I'll be back. I think tomorrow, hopefully, my other Timu order shows up so I can get to editing this vlog and start a new one. But, okay. See you guys in a second. We'll see you guys in the next clip.